two masterpiece fragrances from the master Tom Ford. Welcome to the channel where fashion meets fragrance. My name is Kevin Samuels, your style godfather. Guys, in today's video, I want to talk about two masterpiece fragrances from the master, Tom Ford. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you like these kind of videos, great. Go ahead and subscribe. Drop a like down below. Shout out to the CIA. What's going on, you modern, sexy savages? When I say modern, sexy savages, I think of the master, Tom Ford. Tom Ford brought sexy, back to fashion and fragrance, something that had been missing for a long time. Go and study his work when he was with Gucci as the creative director, then when he went over to Saint Laurent, before he jumped into his own line. I dig things that he does. And when he launched his own fragrance line, guys, arguably it's some of his best work. In my opinion, his signature fragrance line is on par with a lot of stuff from his private blend line. But today I wanna to talk about two from his signature line that are sadly discontinued. Tom Ford Extreme, Tom Ford Sahara Noir. Let's start with Tom Ford Extreme. Full disclosure, several years ago, I panned this fragrance and I will tell you why. If you're a wine lover or a wine enthusiast, you know when you begin, you don't just jump into the deep end with bold, deep reds like Cabernet. Everyone starts out with the whites as their palette evolves. A similar thing goes right along with fragrances. Fragrances like this that are more off the beaten path, a little bit more complex, you need to allow your palette to evolve over time. That's why I always tell guys, go back to fragrances that initially you didn't like, go back to them every three to six months, especially if they have a lot of good reviews or a lot of good buzz about them, and see how your development happens. It's not uncommon for you not to like something here, but then come back over some months or years and actually say, wow, what was I thinking? For me, that's what Tom Ford Extreme was. When I went back to it, when I went back to it years later, guys, I have to admit, I missed the boat on understanding what I was smelling. There's nothing on the market quite like this fragrance. In the top, it has basil, chamomile, cardamom, cinnamon, and lemon. In the mid, we have fig, plum, saffron, sandalwood, thyme, and cedarwood. And in the base, we have balsam fir, caramel, leather, patchouli, rum, truffle, vanilla, vetiver, and frankincense. Obviously, this is a complex fragrance, and it must cook on your skin or develop over time. I dig this stuff so much. And I will tell you what I really dig about it. The fig, the plum, the patchouli, and the frankincense is what makes this fragrance stand out. Now I will tell you, it's not for an everyday use. It's not for an everyday wearer. This is something you wanna wear on those special occasions when you're more dressed up. It's definitely not a casual wear. Or if you wear a suit to work every day, Tom Ford Extreme, if it was still on the market, is signature scent worthy. One, it smells like a classic man. Two, it is so unique, you will never really run into anyone smelling quite like you. Tom Ford Extreme, sadly it's been taken off the market, but if you can run across it, pick it up guys. Pick it up and add it to your collection because it's one of the greats from the master. All right, but next up, we have to talk about Sahara Noir. If you like incense or like resinous fragrances, this thing is heavenly and it is strong. I will tell you right out of the bottle, I was hooked when I smelled this fragrance. But again, it leans towards more what I like. In the top, we have bitter orange and cypress. You can really smell the cypress in the top. In the mid, we get to beeswax, jasmine, papyrus, rose, frankincense, and cinnamon. In the mid, I really get that frankincense. And in the base, we have emberanol, balsam, benzoin, labdanum, oud, vanilla, frankincense, and cedar. This is a resinous frankincense fragrance, guys. I would tell you, if you dig incense, you love the smell of resins, you must get this one in your collection. Now, here's the downside. The people who have this fragrance in their collection probably like the same things you like and are gonna be hard pressed to let go with it. But if you can find it, get it. Either one of these bad boys may be found from time to time floating around in a fragrance group. You may be able to get a decant of it, a decant of it or a small sample of it, or buy it online. Here's the thing about buy online. Buy online at your own risk, especially when you're going to eBay or something like that. I would say only buy something that's brand new in a box and sealed from a reputable seller. Other than that, I wouldn't even take the risk because for the little bit of time most people are wearing these things, the amount of money you may have to put into it, and then the risk with fake or fraudulent stuff is just too much. Do yourself a favor, get your little sample, get a little decant. Now when it comes down to both of these fragrances, I will tell you this, are they blind buy worthy? No. Even if you can find them, I would not recommend blind buying them. 
This one's gonna set you back around $150, $200, and this one's gonna set you back around $150 to $250, depending upon where you may get them. Again, when you have discontinued fragrances that are considered masterpieces, the market sets the price. I dig both of them, but then again, I'm a collector and a reviewer. This one fits more of my kind of, this one fits more of my note profile, but this one is just great perfumery. But like I always say, don't just leave it up to me. Hit us up in the comment section, let us know. Have you tried either one of these? Do you own either one of these? How they rock, how they wear, how they perform on you? Inquiring minds would like to know. Shout out to the CIA. Guys, if you want to become part of the movement, do me a favor, join us on Patreon for exclusive video and live stream content that will only be visible there. Details down in the description.